Hello, my dear friends, my name is Slavo and welcome to another unusual adventure. Today we are buying a random car blindly. That means I already transferred $3,000 to a person who gave me the coordinates. So these are the coordinates where my brand new car is located. I already paid for them $3,000. So right now we need to uh, insert these coordinates into the navigator to see where the this car located at. So follow me guys, right now I have no idea what is that car. The main feature of this video is I have no idea what this car is and how much does it cost. So it could be more than $3,000 or it can be less than $3,000. Today we're gonna figure out what is that car. So as you may see there is a forest behind me, it's a huge forest and but hopefully Hopefully, hopefully, car is not located there. Car located is somewhere in that direction. Oh my God, there is a huge building. Maybe the car located is right there. So for $3,000, we're getting the coordinates where my car located at. Let's go and see what is that car. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I have a nice feeling. I have a good feeling because here we have no road at all. Uh, look there. This road is f is just a mud and dirt. And you may see the tires. Yeah, there was a tires right there going into that building. So maybe, maybe we have uh, a huge car, maybe a truck, or maybe it's a huge off-road car. Because oh my gosh, look at my shoes. Ah, that's so nasty. Oh my gosh, that's so awful. So that means my car that I paid $3,000 can be an off-road car, a big off-road car, because it left such a big uh, tires it had. So follow me, let's go. And I think soon we will find our car. Okay, follow me guys, come on, this building is already almost close to us, but unfortunately these tire trails, as you may see on the mud, they are ending right here. I thought the, this off-road car has gone directly to that building, or maybe it's gone on the right, on the left, so we have to consult with a GPS navigator. Uh, but you know, the signal is kind of poor here. Yeah, because there is a forest behind me. So actually, uh, it seems to be that nobody lives here. I don't know, so why somebody just left this car here? Why, why couldn't he put it in the city? You know, this is kind of strange. And they still have some kind of feeling that Maybe there is no car, maybe it's a fraud, maybe it's a scam, who knows? So, my navigator brought us here, here's the, this building, so maybe uh, maybe we got a car inside of that building. Use, use the camera zoom, check it out, uh, I can't see car, I can see nothing there, there are only uh, strange paintings, you know? And this building is full of water. There is no car at all. There is no car. So, so did I just lost my three thousand dollars? No, 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 no. That's not possible. That's completely not possible. I think we have to go forward. Maybe my brand new car is behind that building. So, I think we have to be very careful, and we have to go there, then there and maybe we can find our car. So, oh my gosh, let's go. Uh, now I have a bad feeling that I really was scammed because we've been walking around this building, this huge building, and now we can see only the forest and you know, it's just a field and... Wait, wait, what? Look right there. I can see something red. It's, it looks like a car right yes guys it's a car 
so it seems to be a red car and you know this is the only car in such a big field maybe maybe it's our car that we bought for a three thousand dollars and now i'm starting feeling happy because you know i was thinking that i've been fraud i've been scammed but now i can see that there is a car and you know it looks strange it has strange lights it has strange car hood and it's red red is my favorite color by the way guys oh i really interested i really interested what and where from you're watching my video right now so feel free to write down your comments where from you watching this video and what is your favorite color feel free to write down your comments and by the way don't forget to support our channel because we're always creating a unique content and that nobody does in the whole world we bought a random car for three thousand dollars so subscribe and support us please let's go stop talking guys we already almost have come to that car look at it this is a red sports car this is so strange i have no idea what is that car but look at that wheels look at that lights look at the hard car hood this is just crazy this is an awesome car I like it. So let's come closer. <laughs> That's very cool car. Oh my God, guys, just have a look on that car. I have no idea what brand is that, but look at that light. They are so cool and round. It has four lights. You know, it's kind of retro style. And look at this car hood. Oh my gosh, come closer look here <laughs> it's so badly damaged it's so covered with rust so this car is not new yeah but it costs three uh, three three thousand dollars and you know it seems to be a sport car because look it has um just two doors it's a coupe style oh my gosh look at that wheels these wheels are just crazy but right now i have a feeling that this car might get into the problem it's already seems to be at the problem because you see how badly it's covered with uh, mud and you know this car is not seems to be an off-road car um, this looks like a sports car and that could be a problem because we have to cross this mud and we have to get this car somehow out of this mud because now this car is ours let's check the doors yeah it's open yeah whoa what's there oh nice <laughs> that's a mirror cool anyway anyway just have a look it, oh wow look it's automatic it's not a manual g g g g gearbox yeah gearbox. it's automatic that's cool and you see this red saloon a red inside nice so but now we have to find the car keys to run the engine and see what's hidden under the hood so i think keys uh regularly located somewhere inside the car wow this car is fancy it has a red saloon uh, wow uh, i don't know what this brand is is it a uh, chevrolet or is it an opal uh, let me know please what do you think okay wow it has music not bad music that's a pioneer nice music and yes i already told you it has an automatic gearbox so what about the keys regularly they are located somewhere there or maybe here whoa nice these are the keys so let's run this car and let's get out of that mud because you know eh, this is gonna be the problem but who knows who knows let's just try to start up the engine mm that is kind of problem we need to open the hood and see what is going on there i don't know if it's opened let's see so let's open this car hood and see what's inside wow oh my this is 
VVTi Toyota engine. Wow, this is JZ. It has six cylinders in a row. That's a very powerful engine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just imagine, these types of engines are irregularly installed um, on a big trucks. Yes, that could be a very big truck, but now it's installed into the small but uh, nice car. And you know, that means this car is very fast. This car is very powerful and speedy. Okay, but now our main priority mission is to start up that engine because um, that could be some kind of problems. Let's think what happened. I've turned the key and nothing happens. No really worked, no power. Yeah, no power. So something wrong is the battery. Yeah, let's see if it's the battery. It's right here. And oh my gosh, that's so easy. That's so easy. We just need to install correctly the battery. So install it right here. Tighten the bolts, the nuts. Okay, and maybe that's enough. Let's see. So now let's try to start up the engine. Oh, now I see the lights of the control panel. So I think everything is working. Let's try. Yahoo! That's crazy. This thing is working. Oh my gosh, this is a very powerful Toyota engine. Nice! That's so cool! So, this car is just cool and so crazy. I don't know how much does it cost, but you may write your opinion down in the comments below. So, please, how do you think? Is it worth $3,000 or maybe it costs more or maybe it costs less? Anyway, this car is right now uh, belongs to us, but still we have a problem. Look at that mad and look how badly this wheel is covered with mud. So we have to get out of the dirt as fast as possible. So let's try. This engine it seems to be overheating. You see, this thing is covered with liquid. That means this engine is being overheated. That's a very bad situation actually, because if something is wrong with the temperature, this engine can just be destroyed. It can be stuck. I don't have any liquids and I don't have any tools with me to, um, to improve that. But anyway, uh, we, we've moved and that's a good news. Yeah, we almost moved. So we've been trying and trying, but you know, uh, we didn't have enough results. We got in a very bad situation. This car is completely sit in mud. So we asked some guys, guys to help us uh, towing our vehicle. So finally we did it. We did a great job and right now our brand new vehicle is on a, not an excellent road, but on a better road. And now we can deliver that car onto the base and we can um, start working with that car. Maybe we need to 
tune it a little bit maybe we need to make it better or i don't know i don't know what should we do with that car by the way feel free to write down your comments and tell me what do you want us to do with that car so right now guys i have no idea what should we do with this car right now i like it it's a really fancy car and it's just crazy maybe we need to remove all this rust this uh scratches and so on i don't know uh, but anyway this is a legendary engine and i really love it this car is very powerful we need to tune it a little bit we need to repair i think um and maybe this car is gonna get a super racing car super sports car i have no idea so or maybe we need just to sell it as it is who knows i want to know your opinion so feel free to write down your comments and tell me what should we do with this car my name is love and see you soon don't forget to subscribe to leave your likes and your comments bye bye